Hello everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well as always. Have I got some hauls for you today. So this morning I've been in and out of the house. Um, I finally, so it's Tuesday, let me start with that. I take Ozzy to nursery and on my way back, I can go two ways, down the motorway or through the back roads. If I come through the back roads, I pass the green grocers, which is open by the time I come home about quarter past eight. Um, so today I went in, I've done that a couple of times now. Got all the fruit, I'm gonna show you that. I still think it was expensive for what I got. That's always a complaint. I am turning into my mum, who's always complaining about prices. I am that person now, but anyway. Um, also then, when I continue towards home, there's this supermarket that I've always wanted to go to, but it's always really busy, but it wasn't, and I saw it. So I went into that supermarket, and before I show you, I talk about what else I got, let me show you what I got first at the supermarket and the green grocery. Okay, I picked up some Grana Padano, a uh, block of cheese, also got some um, prosciutto, cotto, so ham. I got some mushrooms. I've never seen, the green grocers doesn't seem to have mushrooms ever. We, we are quite big fans, so got a nice um, thing of it. What else? I got some of these. I always buy these little drinks, but I'd never seen, um, <coughs> excuse me, I'd never seen peach and mango, so that looked nice. Uh, the prices, I thought everything was quite, a lot not quite a lot cheaper but it was cheaper i definitely thought so i found these cappuccinos for the dolce gusto I, my hopes are not getting high by any chance this was 329 and there's obviously only eight drinks in there i thought i'd give that a try got some pancakes for alex he um he's on a pancake kick some of these plum yogurts um i seem to be doing a lot of like snacks for the boys so um alex doesn't have lunch at school i'm sorry i still haven't sorted out my nails um alex doesn't have lunch because he finishes at um one o'clock but he has a snack in the morning and the only way he'll eat it if it's something quick and sweet so um i give him one of those or you'll have some of these for breakfast and then you'll have some toast as well whatever I also got this because Paul also wants snacks. I didn't get any biscuits. I didn't see anything that I liked. But anyway, I got some panna cotta. Also got some sliced bread. This is American bread. So I'm just hoping it's nice. The slices are bigger. So that looks good. Uh, zucchero. So a sugar. Got some fresh bread. Eggs. Picked up some bechamel sauce. That's quite a big little thing there got some milk um, got these gummies and some chocolate with rice pops inside then frozen I got some garlic and some ice lollies because hot okay. and then from the greengrocers I picked up this watermelon this guys a quarter of a watermelon I know it's big this was four euros 36 Got some courgettes, just two in there. A big thing of plums. These look so good. <coughs> Excuse me. Some peaches. Oh, and a big lettuce in here. You can see. That was it. Eleven euros seventy-four. I think I paid for that. This supermarket totally gives me little vibes. They even had like a middle aisle. And actually, it's a lot smaller than the bigger, the other bigger supermarkets. So it'd be a lot quick for quick for me in the morning after I drop Ozzy off to just pop by and get some stuff. So yeah, I was impressed with it. I thought the prices were okay. So yeah. After that, I came home, right? Because, and this is something that annoys me. Not everything is open. A lot of the stuff opens at nine and some of it at 10. So I did all of this. I was home at like 10 to nine. I could have waited to go to one of the shops, 
But because I wanted to go to two different shops and one of them opens at 10, I thought, let me go home, get some breakfast, which I hadn't had, put stuff in the fridge and freezer, and then I can go back out. So the other places I wanted to go was to my local Emporium. Um, and that's what I'm gonna show you now, everything that I got there. I picked up this um, washing up liquid. I like getting it, the, the my washing up liquid from the American base. Um, I think, is it Dreft? No, it's not Dreft. The, the one I get, I get is really well priced and I really like it. But I've run out, literally run out, and I'm not intending to go at least for another week. So I just picked up this. It was 250. It is for 19, 23 washes. Um, I thought that was okay. I also got this um, clothes softener. Um, you guys might remember that I tried to use vinegar, but they actually leaves a lot of static on my clothes. So I mix and match with this. So I just picked this one up. This was on offer for 150. It smelled nice. Yeah, it smells really nice. Kind of like fairy, the fairy one in the UK. So I got that. Also picked up some, what is this? Uh, you know, mouthwash. Took me a minute. My husband particularly likes this Pasta del Capitano, this brand. Okay, and I also picked up two things for the toilet. To clean the toilet. I picked up this um, this thing with intentions. Can you guess to put it on the wall in my bedroom? You know, I did the basket wall. That was the main reason why I wanted to go there to see what they if they had any sort of like baskets that I could use. They didn't. They had that one, um, and they also had this one. Um, and I'm not mad, you know, like if I decide, oh, I don't like it, I can use this in my kitchen. It's a trivet, I think. I think it is a trivet and the other one is like a placemat, so it's fine. So the trivet was 150 and the mat was two. I also picked up this tray um, to make like the really tiny ice cubes for drinks. I think that's fun. I got two jars. These were one euro each. Basically, um, I want to make some more lemon curd, but this time to give away. So, yeah, I just got some nice jars because the ones I have are looking a bit grotty. I picked up some gloves to um, for when I dye my hair. This was 150 and there's 30 inside. Also got some of these pot scrubbers things. Two packets of wipes. I really like these pamper ones. These were one euro each. Uh, what else? Oh yeah. So I'll tell you now, I spent 50 euros in there. 50 euros 30. I also, this is for Paul. Paul was rooting through our pens, which we have loads pens and highlighters and we had a couple but he wanted more for work so i got him a pack of these highlighters i thought these were cool um yeah and i also got him some of these pens gel pens i think they are anyway i thought these were really cool um for him to take to work we're massive fans i don't know about you but in this house we're massive fans of um um, anything to do with like pens, paper, yeah. The other things I got are for Aussie. I picked up some, um, I have a feeling Alex is going to love this too. This is like that, um, what you call it, the dough, you know, Play-Doh, yeah, but off brand. I got this one. Basically, I'm not very good at getting him stuff for him to do messy play. I don't like mess. We play a lot with water. Um, and honestly, I'm dreading the idea that I can get that on my sofa or on my carpet in, you know, my rug. But I think it will be really fun and Ozzy will really like it. And like I said, I think Alex will enjoy it too. Um, and Alex will be home, you know, they're home sort of um, every afternoon. So I might just set it all up 
in the um on my table there and get them to play i also got him some of this what is this this is <sighs> what is this you guys know the goopy oh what's it called i hate this stuff but it is fun isn't it this <coughs> Excuse me, this kind of stuff. I forget the name. Anyway, for the same thing, again, Ozzy started going through a stage where he doesn't want to touch anything, you know, anything that could be messy. So I thought, let me get something fun. So he, he sort of gets into the touching stuff again. And um, I also got some bubbles. I'm going to put these in my bag or in the car, just a quick entertainment when, when me and him are out. And then, this is my, my toxic trait, you guys. If I see some new face cream, I have to try it, right? Especially if it has SPF, especially if it's 50 plus. And obviously, being such a hot country, they have a lot of options. Um, this, again, like I said, is from the Emporium. This says facial mousse solar 50 plus spf total care hydrated i cannot wait to try this i've got probably six or seven different ones on the go i, I can't help myself you you won't see me buying like loads and loads of makeup or but face creams i'm always like mm. you'd be fooled to think really you spend money on face cream so anyway i cannot wait to try this this was $4.90, um, really affordable stuff. I did, on my way home, stop at the pharmacy. They, they opened a new pharmacy near where I live, and I hadn't been yet. And pharmacies here are, well, it, well they're like kept the chemists in the UK, but they tend to sell the higher-end stuff, while the chemists in the UK, like Lloyd's Pharmacy, you'll get, like, more run-of-the-mill stuff. Here, you're looking at, like, the... Vichy and yeah so I guess like boots but it's not like boots because you won't have like the cheap stuff that you can also get in boots anyway the Portuguese pharmacies are the same as well I went to look for the Panthen uh, because it's what we use for Aussie I mean we've had a tube for I don't know I think since he was born we've got like two tubes we don't use it very often but it's always good to have Anyway, before I went in, and I'm so glad, I, I just thought, let me check how much it is on Amazon Italy, and it was 8.99 euros. I went in then, the same size was 13 euros. So I sort of had a nose around and just walked straight back out. Lastly, but not least, you guys know I did the little makeover in my bedroom. Um, one thing I wanted to do is change the handles on the wardrobes. This is what I got got these so you might have you might have seen the ones in my pantry I have two I think they look like this the ones in the pet pantry so I got six um let me show you the the three different patterns one two oh I might have got two of the same pattern actually oh yeah I did so I got four like this and two like this, which I quite like. I think I'll put that in the middle and then the others. I'm sure I'll show you once that is done. I'll show you. But yeah, that was it. So it was very, definitely if I look back to when I first got here and I just wanted to go to one place to buy everything. Now I'm getting more in the groove of going in and out of different shops. The annoying thing is it's not really walkable from my house and I had someone tell me off as well this was not today but before I parked in front of their business right went in their shop got what I wanted and then just crossed the road went to the other shop did something else came back and she was like you should have moved your car you're, you're stopping my clients for coming it's annoying because then you have to drive into the all the different businesses and they're literally in one big row, super, the traffic is insane, 
I was quite proud. I even like reversed out onto the main road, onto the other lane, that the traffic all had to stop for me to come out. But I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do what everyone else is doing. And I did it. And I'm every day that passes, I feel more comfortable driving here and getting to know where to go to get the stuff at the best price, if that makes sense. Though, I'm not gonna lie, I miss Tesco's. I miss the convenience of Tesco's um, or any supermarket in the UK. But yeah, that's it. This is a long video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.